Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Pebble Beach. Seventh hole right behind me. Oh my God, it's my first time out here. You guys are in for a treat. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's head right out to the front nine. Here we go. It's America's number one public golf course. Everybody knows about Pebble Beach, and I cannot wait to show it off. The first hole here, right out of the lodge. It's only 240 yards up the hill to that first bunker. Lay it down short of those bunkers, and you'll find yourself about 150 yards or less into this green. It's surprisingly uphill from the fairway. I did not anticipate how much land movement this golf course was gonna have. Now, today was Father's Day. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning, showed up, and was the first person and only person on the wait list. Magically found myself an open slot here, just about 10 a.m. in the morning, and best of all, my dad was able to join me as he was out here on our family vacation and he decided to walk along for all 18 holes and even grabbing the camera for shots like these. It was truly an incredible experience and one I will never forget. The nerves are out and it's time to air it out here on the first par five. Very gettable, a flat 507 yards. The entire golf course is framed by those pearly white bunkers all over the place. And with the perfect sand you're gonna find in there, it's gonna be deep, soft lies, and boy, it is tough to get the ball out if you gotta hit a long club. Now, as we approach the green on this first par five, this barranca cuts across the fairway at about 100 yards out. So you're gonna have to decide if you're laying back short or if you're gonna go for it through that tunnel of trees and lay it up short of the green. Potentially, you can go for the green itself, but man, it is tiny, smaller than all the bunkers surrounding it. Now this tee shot of mine was a beautiful cut right off the left hand bunker and right down Main Street. Now just a seven iron for me here into the green from 195 yards, I pulled it. Pulled it left of the green and I was over here in some patchy rough. It was way offline, but it was surprising to be in a little bit of patchy rough. I was able to get a good little flop shot there with the 60 degree, but I left this putt above the hole and you can see how slippery these greens can be if you are on the wrong side of the hole. I just couldn't take advantage and had to take that comfy tap in par as we head down to number three. The first hole where we're gonna get a peak of the ocean from the ground level. But at first, in order to get there, we're gonna have to navigate all of these bunkers. The one here on the left that we're flying over is a great target off the tee. Just try to take your tee shot over that bunker and the hill and the slope should take it down comfortably into the middle of the fairway. Now, as we approach the green, you're gonna see a theme with this golf course, absolutely tiny greens, always surrounded by sand, it's a test of precision out here. Now a two iron off the tee, as I didn't want to go through the fairway and into those bunkers, I was able to turn this over with a draw and get a lot of rollout. Only 115 yards into this middle hole location, I just clipped this sandwich a little bit too long and it barely trickled over the back edge. Luckily, the ryegrass overseed is very fluffy and really tends to grab those balls as they roll off the green, keeping them really close to the putting surface and allowing you to get yourself up and down if you leave yourself a makeable putt. A nice, awesome eight footer there up the hill for par and we're down next to the ocean for the next eight holes in a row. This fourth hole, Heading straight up the hill, not something I anticipated as it was my first trip out here to Pebble Beach. 
and the blind nature of the golf course was certainly the thing that took me by surprise. This many bunkers on this hole, and you can barely see any of them from the tee box. Lay it up there somewhere, hopefully on the grass, and nail this tiny little target sitting on top of the hill. Now only a four iron for me off the tee here. I was afraid my two iron would just be too much and just bring every bit of trouble into play. But well, <laughs> there's trouble all the way down this fairway down the left and the four iron found it. Now I chipped my 120 yard sand wedge out of this bunker. I was 80 yards away from the flag and beautifully left it here in the middle of the green. Now these greens are small, so if you're in the middle, you should have a makeable look. And boom, 25 feet for birdie. That caddy right there, I don't remember his name. He wasn't mine, but man, he gave me an excellent read on that putt. Now the fifth hole, a new hole here at Pebble Beach. It's the newest on the property, built about 20, 25 years ago. And it's a par three built by Jack Nicholas. Front left to back right, it's a dangerously diagonal green. You've got to pick your club precisely. Now I was playing my nine iron here. It was 185 yards all the way back to the flag and I had the wind behind me and I was just a little bit overconfident coming off of that birdie, let's be honest. Left it short in the bunker, trying to get up and down with my 60 degree and the ball rolled out out of this perfect sand. 30 feet down the hill for par. We just might be able to make it, but ultimately uh, a bogey after a birdie is never ideal but I'm facing a par five. And one of the par fives I've always wanted to face, the beautiful sixth hole here at Pebble Beach. Bunkers down the left and the ocean on the right is gonna squeeze all of your tee shots, no matter what club you're gonna hit. The fairway is gonna run out at about 305 yards from the blue tees. And for me, that's a little bit short. I'm going to take my three wood off the tee, hopefully laying it short down there perfectly and giving myself a look at this green, but I'm not going to have a look of anything. You saw how much we had to raise up there, a completely blind approach up to this tiny little green sitting up on the plateau. Oh boy. Now, after pulling my three wood off the tee, it went dead left, away from the ocean as much as possible, and it actually ended up on the car path. I took my drop, had the caddy give me a line up the hill, and absolutely flushed a perfect five iron here, right on the line that I thought I should hit it, and this was now a dream opportunity for Eagle on number six. A big bird, number three on the par five sixth as we head down to quite possibly the most famous hole in American golf, the beautiful par three seventh hole. It's only 106 yards from the tips. And today on Father's Day Sunday, it was playing as far back as it possibly could because we were playing to a front hole location. Now, I was quite surprised to see that it was nearly a blind shot from the tee box because of the hill at the end of this peninsula. Just a little chipped sand wedge down the hill, 85 yards was all I needed to hit it to get it close to this hole, and I knocked it about 15 feet. It's time to roll it in to go 3-2 on these famous two holes. right back down to reality, realizing that not all putts are gonna drop every day. It's just a comfy tap in par, and we can head on to the famous eighth hole, the best par four here on the entire golf course. I think Jack Nicklaus said this was his favorite hole in golf. 
a iron off the tee should be necessary. 260 yards is all you can hit it before you fall off into the ocean. And then it's going to be a monstrous shot, about 285 yards to get all the way back to this green. And unfortunately, it was being remodeled when I was playing it. So I had to play that little temporary green just short. Man, I really wish I was able to get it all the way back there. Nonetheless, two fantastic shots were still required. A full four iron off the tee, and here a nice full 160 yard nine iron into this green, the temporary green that's sitting just short of the real one. And wouldn't you know for Pebble Beach, a temporary green to be absolutely perfect? I mean, of course it was perfect. It wasn't the fairway. It was a real built up green with real sod on it that rolled perfect. You know what? A bogey is a bogey. If you can't make a four, you got to put a five on the card right back to even par. And we're going to head down to the longest par four on the card, nearly as long as some of the par fives here. But with the hill in the fairway, this ninth hole is going to play dramatically shorter. Off the tee, it's pretty much a wide, open, driving range style fairway. Avoid the bunker down the left, or you could use it as an aiming target off the tee. Now, once we pass that bunker, the fairway is going to drop severely down towards the green, way more than this drone view can ever show you, and more than I ever anticipated it to be. A good 20 yard drop all the way down to the green, and when we get down there, it is another tiny little postage stamp right on the edge of Carmel Beach. Decided to rear back and fire with this tee shot. My big bomb and sent it all the way down the hill. A little bit left, but this one went about 330 to 40 yards. Hitting another sand wedge into a green from 130 yards, I had a severe downhill lie, which made this ball come out really flat and go a little bit long. All the way on the back of the green, I still had a look and lipped out the 50 footer for birdie. A nice little four footer up the hill to clean up for par. And we will see you next time for the back nine from Pebble Beach. Later.